Good morning, Latino Chamber members. I hope you are all off to a great start this week. This is Stephen here coming to you live from the Latino Chamber again with this week's El Griton Brief, some information we just want to share with you in kind of a video format. So let's jump right into it. Uh, first thing, this Friday we have our breakfast that's coming up. We're changing a little bit this year and offering some breakfast sessions as well as the luncheons to help members at both ends of that calendar spectrum. So join us this Friday, the 26th, 8 a.m. is registration. Our program will begin at 8.30. Thanks to our sponsors, the Pueblo Urban Renewal Authority. They are helping to put this session on and the program will be presented by the Colorado Enterprise Fund. So we hope that you can come out and join us, learn more about all that they provide in terms of funding resources and opportunities for businesses across the state of Colorado. So hopefully we'll see you this Friday, the 26th, give us a call to RSVP or click the link that you see in El Griton to um, reserve online. Kind of a little further into February, it's hard to believe we're already talking about February, but here we are. February 7th will be our Latino Supremo Coffee Break, sponsored by the Pueblo Christian Academy, and that'll be at 8.15 to 9.15 a.m., so come on out and check out their facility and do some networking. On February 8th, we have the Latino Chamber Professional Mixer. That'll be from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., and that is sponsored by our good friends at the Junior League of Pueblo, uh, Pueblo Plex, and PDI. The Professional Mixer will also be held at PDI, which is the Pueblo Diversified Industries. So again, come on out and check out their wonderful facility, learn more about all of these entities and what they do. And that'll be on February 8th from five to seven. So we look forward to seeing you there for that. Uh, some ribbon cuttings we have coming up today, January 23rd, CSU Pueblo is having the grand opening and rededication of the Oceano Student Center. So hopefully you can join us this afternoon 1 p.m. there at the campus for the opening of that beautiful renovation. Uh, we also have a ribbon cutting for the newly merged Nature and Wildlife Discovery Center, which is going to be on January 24th. Um, that will be at 11.30 in the morning, and their address is 5200 Nature Center Road. So we hope, hope you can come out and join us for that. Ribbon cutting for Nova Stella, one of our newest members, at 5 p.m. on January 26th, which is this Friday. Uh, the ribbon cutting will take place at 5 p.m., but they'll have an open house from 4 to 6. So come on down, check out their studio and all the great things that they have to offer. Also, on the 31st, January 31st at 12 p.m., our friends at the NeighborWorks of Pueblo will be opening their new lending center. So come on out and learn more about what they now offer in their new lending center for businesses here in our community. So hopefully you can join us for some of those. And then on Thursday, February 1st, as we've mentioned a couple times, uh, we have a presentation that we've been marketing. It's going to be held at the City County Library, the Rawlings Branch. And this is for its titled Charitable Organization Presentation, what you need to know about tax-exempt purchases and sales. So check out El Griton for that detailed flyer and the link to RSVP if you are interested in attending. Just want to make sure we uh, recognize or, or make mention again of the buy local uh, link that you can nominate a business. Nominate a local business that's locally owned, operated right here in Pueblo. And the buy local advisory board each month selects one of those businesses to highlight and feature and do a little news and some press on. So please help us out by nominating a business that we could potentially recognize. Uh, be sure and check out all of our advertisers again. Uh, we, you know, the same as we had last week, except one new addition is from our friends at the YWCA. They are having their 23rd annual uh, YWCA Chocolate Indulgence on Friday, February 2nd. So be sure and check out that ad for some additional details. So a little further into February, just so you have a save the date market on your calendar, February 24th will be our 39th annual dinner dance celebration. Uh, check out the press release that is going to be sent out from the Latino Chamber. We have seven different awards that we'll give out that evening. It's a great evening to celebrate our, our businesses, individuals in our community, and all the contributions and successes that we've had. So that again will be February 24th, uh, starting at 6 p.m. at the Sangre de Cristo Arts Center. That pretty much is a wrap up of this week's El Griton. We hope that you have a wonderful week, and more importantly, we hope to see you very soon. Take care.